Warning, this game contains imagery that may be triggering or disturbing to some viewers with reference to alcohol, death, abuse, and other sensitive content. Viewer discretion is advised. I can see how much your little sister loves you by her smile. That's Lynn. She's only 10. She does have the best smile ever. I would need to see her sad. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if you're new here. My name is Death by Pony. Today we're having back in the life is strange. So without further ado, let's hop in. Alright, let's see if I can save her this time. Is this for real? Bitch flipped out. I didn't think she was that messed up. Ooh. My heart is racing and I'm nervous just thinking about it. Come on. All right, great. Let's go. Keep going, Max. Gotta save you Kate Marsh. Can do it. Gotta go save Kate Marsh. Gotta go save Kate Marsh. It's very important. Trying my best. But it won't let me run, really. Okay. We go upstairs. We go save her. <sighs> All right. Yes. My heart is thumping. Come on. Oh. What are you doing here, Max? Stop. Don't come near me. Not now. It won't work. I don't have any power. Now I have to do this by myself? Max, seriously, don't come near me. I will jump. Okay, okay. I'm right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. <sighs> Things will get better. Don't worry, Kate. Things will get better. I promise. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours. And we can get through this together. Let me help. Like I helped by erasing all that crap people wrote on your room slate. Thanks for that. But I needed you more when I called to actually talk. That's when I needed a friend. It was in silent mode. I swear, it was in silent mode. And I didn't see it. Or I totally would have answered. I needed you to answer, Max. Everybody thinks I'm a viral slut now. There is no everybody. There's only your friends and your family who love you. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning, I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. Are you serious? Thank you so much. My heart that you don't care about that video and would come up here to stop me means a lot. You were drugged. I care about you because I believe you were drugged. We will find out who did this and make them pay. You sound so persuasive, Max. If only... Kate, I believe you. Will you believe me? Please, you don't have to do this. Come Max, on. I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm already on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. 
I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Uh. Be strong. Kate, this is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. But I'll come with you. You're my friend. <sighs> Forever. Can we hug on it? <sighs> no. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. Uh, your sisters. I saw that cute photo of you with your sisters in your room this morning. I can see how much your little sister loves you by her smile. That's Lynn. She's only ten. She does have the best smile ever. I would need to see her sad. Ooh. Oh my god, I talked her down. Oh I'm god. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. It's okay, Kate. What are you talking about? You saved me from talking in class. Oh, Kate. Gonna give me a heart attack. Jesus. I was so nervous. I was gonna fuck that up. Now, I know today was difficult for everybody. But I'm so proud of the way Blackwell pulled together to save a young girl's life. Of course, you're quite a hero for getting Kate to come down, Max. I didn't do much. She's modest. Like a real hero. Yeah, real hero. As oh. principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not. And that is indeed your responsibility. Damn. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield. Why exactly were you on the roof with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. <sighs> uh... Um... Mr. Madsen was bullying Kate. Oh, grow Excuse up. Excuse me, I was there. I saw you getting in her face. You have no idea what you saw. Kate Marsh was involved with a bad crowd. I was trying to find out who. Kate had a double life. I was super shocked when I found out. No, you were part of the crowd. And like I said, I personally saw David physically harass Kate Marsh. You lying little. Shh. Are you <laughs> going to take this troublemaker's word over your security officer? And he should take the word of somebody who harasses students? Max. I'm afraid this won't be solved here without proof and a thorough investigation. Ugh. Now, if you have anything else to say. All right. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and student just tried to kill herself. They don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. Uh. I'm gonna go back. All right. Let's see what happens when we click Jefferson. I saw Mr. Jefferson talking to Kate right before our class. Then she ran off crying. 
Mark, I do know that Miss Marsh has assisted you on class events. Kate, Miss Marsh has been very withdrawn lately. I assume this awful video was the cause. I hated seeing the students laugh at her. She was upset Miss Caulfield didn't return her calls. She felt rejected by the school. She shouldn't have asked to be on video macking with some dudes. You ass! She didn't ask for any of this. No, on the contrary. Max was right to bring this up. Now, I've wanted to help, but I guess I was too late. Well, now this is problematic. The publicity is rising, and perhaps you shouldn't represent Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes contest in San Francisco. Are you serious? I am. We don't need any negative press about that event. And we need to involve the Academy in possible disciplinarian measures for you. I understand it. There are bigger things at stake than me. The life of a young girl, for one. Maybe you should investigate other staff members. Max told me she knew things about Mr. Madsen. Let Max speak for herself. Everything we talked about here will be looked into. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. Well, Mr. Madsen was brought up. So I will accept it. But I need him on my side for right now. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. Oh, man. He knows something's up. I couldn't even believe it was happening. It was literally slow motion as I grabbed her hand. And then I could feel her grabbing mine. Max, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen, ever. You reached out, she reached out, hugs, tears, applause, like a superhero. Not quite. Look at me. I'm a mess. You're glowing. Seriously, a human halo. I'm pretty sure you earned your wings. No. I'm so worried about Kate. She did try to kill herself. All over a video. Viral is the right word. Like a disease. So you watched it? Just one. And a half times. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. They're fucking up all the timelines. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. Fair enough. And there would probably be music there if it wasn't turned off. Same here. No. Wonder what he's got going on. Ah. Wild. Probation, probably. Ooh, you feeling guilty? You should.
dog. He's got stuff going on too. Okay. I'm glad I did better this time. Snooping paid off. And there's our girl. Together. That's Chloe, our partner in time and life, hopefully. I'm hoping I can get the romantic ending because there's the friend ending and then there's the romance ending. Hoping to get the romance ending. Ooh. And Kate's been added to the file. Not great. Okay. Skip the credits. All right. So we're going to look through what I chose and see how it shook out. So 35% told Kate to go to the police, 65% didn't. Um, let's see, 62% answered Kate's call, 18 did not. I did not. 52% uh, tried to shoot Frank, 48% did not. And uh, so we're part of the majority. 37% uh, of people couldn't save her, 36% could. We were part of the majority. Last time, I was not, because last time I did not save her. 70% uh, bl blamed Nathan, 17% blamed Jefferson, and 13% blamed David. We were part of the, uh, not the lowest, but we were like the second lowest. So my friend's stats is 50-50. I'm telling her to go to the police. 0% of my friend's and ignored her call. I was the only one. 100% of my friends tried to shoot Frank. It's 50-50 on if they could save her or not. 50% blame Nathan and 50% blame Jefferson. I guess everybody was like, yeah, no, we need him on our side. So next is 71% watered the plant. 90 were part of the majority. We were part of the minority. I didn't know you could help Alyssa. I'm upset. Uh, we were part of the majority of erasing the link. Um, most people, we were not part of the majority of being friendly with Taylor. We accepted Warren's invitation, which was the majority. We didn't write a message, which is minority. Uh, tampering with the railroad tracks was, uh, the minority, but we did it. Gained entry to the Vortex Club party. We're part of the minority on that. 43% helped Warren, which is again the minority. And telling on David to Jefferson was a majority, which we did. And for my friends, the split on the water, split on helping Alyssa. All of us erased the link to Kate's video. It split on, even split on being friendly with Taylor. Even split on the invitation. Same with the message. All of us tampered with the road tracks, split on gaining entry, split on helping Warren, and everybody told on Jefferson. All right. So, let's see what we got. Chaos theory. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, remember to like, that way you now you're enjoying the content I'm making. Remember to subscribe. That way YouTube brings you back here to see what happens next. And I won't take up any more of your time. I hope you have a good day. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.